Decision table for Mina. Mina is a high school student. Her dream is to become a comics artist, so she joins an after school art program. However, after a few weeks, she starts skipping classes. Mr. Joe, the art teacher, asks her to come to the art classroom for a talk. Mina, I haven't seen you in class for a while. I'm so sorry, sir. I wanted to come, but I couldn't. Is there a problem? Not really, but I have other things to do. I'm very busy these days. I wish I had more time. Hmm. Maybe the problem is not time, but time management. What do you mean? Well, actually, I might have some suggestions. Do you want to hear them? I'd love to. Mr. Joe walks up to the board and draws a big square. He divides it into four blocks, with a number in each block. This table categorizes things by urgency and importance. The first block includes things that are urgent and important. The second, important but not urgent. The third, urgent but not important. And last, neither urgent nor important. We usually don't have time for everything, so we must decide what we should stop or reduce. Now, out of the four blocks, which do you think we should give up first? Well, maybe block four, things that are neither urgent nor important. Right. Can you give me some examples? Hmm. I'm not sure. How about surfing the web or checking social media? You're right. I waste too much time reading the latest gossip and keeping up with my friends' updates. Maybe that's one reason you don't have enough time. True. I'll do my best to stop. Great. Now let's think about block three: things that are urgent but not important. Do you currently have anything urgent to do? Well, as you know, I'm class president, and the classroom decorations should be done by the end of this week. There are lots of things to do: putting labels on lockers, designing a notice board, and buying cleaning materials. Are they all important to you? I mean, do you have to do all of them on your own? No, I think I can do them with other classmates. That's right. They're not your sole responsibility. They're relatively less important to you because someone can do them for you. I think you should find classmates who can help you. I got it. I should have asked for help from the beginning. I'll try to find classmates who can help me. Excellent. Now you know how to save time. Where will you spend the extra time you saved? Block one: things that are both urgent and important, like my math homework. It's due tomorrow. Right. That is what you should do before anything else. But what about block two? Hmm. What could go in block two? What is something important but not urgent? They are things you must do regularly to make your life happier in the long run. They can be things like exercising or career planning. Didn't you say you wanted to be a comics artist in the future? Yes, I did. I love drawing cartoons. Okay, then what would you put in block two? Practicing drawing cartoons. Oh, I shouldn't have ever started skipping your classes. People tend to ignore block two. However, we should find time for those things, even when we're busy. After all. The point is not urgency, but importance. I'll keep that in mind. Next time you are about to do anything, stop and think about this table. That way, you'll be able to manage your time better. Okay, I will. Thank you, sir.